Hi, my name is Daniela and today I will show you how to make a bead double crochet rope. So, prepare a beading mat, but it's optional. For beginners, it is best to start with three different colors of seed beads. I will use seed beads Preciosa of size 10, but if you are not skilled yet, I recommend to use bigger size of seed beads, for example size 8. The bigger size of seed beads you use, the better you will see the loops and it will be easier for you to crochet. Next, we need a pearl cotton thread. This is Czech product called Cordonet. For beginners, it is best to use some light color of thread because you will see the loops better. And when I crochet with really small seed beads of size 15, I usually use denim thread. Also, we need a crochet hook. I will use 0.8 mm crochet hook. It is quite small, but I like to crochet with small hooks. If you use bigger seed beads, feel free to use a bigger crochet hook. And next, we need a big eye needle. And scissors. If you don't have a big eye needle, take normal beading needle and thread. I will show you a little trick. To fasten it, prepare two eye pins, two bead caps 10 mm, two jump rings, extender chain. and a lobster clasp. Then a round nose pliers. Chain nose pliers. And side cutter. and thin silicone or plastic hose to stiffen the bead crochet rope. You can buy it at almost any hobby market. First of all, we string beads. We need to string it in exact order to make a spiral pattern. The circumference of the row will be 12 beads, so one row will have 12 beads. Take a big eye needle, open it, and put the thread inside. If you don't have a big eye needle, take normal beading needle, cut a piece of thread, put a thread inside the eye of the needle, make a knot, and put a pearl cotton thread inside. It will do the same job as big eye needle. So we start with two pink beads. Two green beads two blue beads and again two pink two green and two blue these 12 beads will make one row and repeat it to achieve the required length So again, two pink, two green, two blue, 
and to pink, to green, and to blue. If the circumference of the rope is 12 beads, the required length is 12 times longer than the length of the finished product. So, if you want to make 19 inches necklace, your bead string has to be 12 times longer, in this case 228 inches. 12 times 19 inches is 228 inches. If the circumference of the bead rope is 10 beads in one row, the required length of the bead string is 10 times longer than the finished product we want. So now we have the required length of the bead string and we can start crochet. We make a slip knot. Wrap a thread over the hook from back to front. And pull the thread through the loop and again. And tight. This is a slip knot. And uh, now we make a chain stitch without beads. I recommend to do it quite loose. Make 12 chain stitches. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve, and finally add one more extra chain stitch. We will not connect chain stitches to the circle yet. We will make the next row in reverse instead. So put the hook in the first loop, wrap a thread over the hook from back to front and pull the thread through only one loop. Wrap a thread again and pull the thread through both loops. Again to the next loop. Wrap a thread over the hook from back to front and pull the thread through only one loop. Wrap again and pull the thread through both loops. And again to the loop. Wrap a thread, pull through one loop. Wrap again and pull through both loops. And continue with the rest nine loops. We will have 12 loops a total. So now we have the second row without beads and we need to connect it to the circle. Put the hook to the last loop, 
right in the loop under two threads. Wrap a thread, pull through one loop, wrap again and pull through both loops. And this way we make another one or two rows. Now prepare 12 beads. It will create first row with beads. Put the hook in the loop. Take one bead down. Wrap a thread and pull through one loop, wrap again and pull through both loops. And again put the hook in the next loop, take one bead down, wrap a thread, pull through one loop, wrap again and pull through both loops. Again the same. Hook in the loop, be down, wrap a thread, pull through one loop, wrap again and pull through both loops. And continue with the rest of these beads. Now we have the first row with beads. Prepare another 12 beads, which will make the second row. Put 
Put the hook in the loop of the first bead we add. Write the loop under two threads. Take a bead down, wrap a thread, pull through one loop, wrap again and pull through both loops. And again to the next loop. All of the rows we will make the same way and check if the color of the bead at the loop we put the hook in is the same as the color of the bead we take down. It's for our control that we follow the pattern right. And again, put the hook in the loop of the green bead and put the green bead down. Of course, it won't work if uh, you will make different pattern, but once you manage the technique, you will be sure to which loop you need to put the hook in without checking the colors of the beads. So, finish the rest of the row. Now we have the second row, it looks like this. And again, prepare another 12 beads for the next row. And continue crochet until you have the desired length of the bead rope. Now we have the length we want and another few rows we make without beads, the same way as the beginning of the rope. So put the hook in the loop, wrap a thread, pull through one loop, wrap again and pull through both loops. And again hook in the loop, wrap a thread, Pull through one loop and again pull through both loops. Make about three or four rows this way.
Now cut the thread. And close the last loop. Take a plastic hose and put it inside the crochet rope. You can also put the hose in continuously while you're crocheting. Uh, or you don't need to use it at all, but it's good to do crochet rope to keep the shape, especially if you crochet big ropes. Now we cut the holes and finally we attach the fastening. Take a big eye needle, put the thread inside and make a knot. And cut the thread. Now make the same on the other side of the bead rope. Put the thread inside. Make a knot. And cut a thread. Now take an eye pin. Open the loop. Put the eye pin through the threads. And close the loop of the eye pin. Put the bead cap on the eye pin. And cut it about one centimeter from the bead cap. Bend the eye pin. And make a loop. Now take a jump ring Open it Put inside the loop and add an extender chain And now close the jump ring So one side is finished and we finish also the other side with lobster clasp. So take an eye pin, 
open the loop, put through the threads, and close the loop of the eye pin. Put the bead cap on the eye pin. And cut it about one centimeter from the bead cap. Bend the eye pin and make a loop. Now take a jump ring, open it. Put inside the loop and add a lobster clasp. And now close the jump ring. And the bead crochet rope is completely finished. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe. In the next tutorial I will show you how to make a flat bead crochet bracelet. Bye!